Mount Tremper variations. Mount Tremper is this town in upstate New York. It's quite on where I spent some time a long time ago. Um, one, the reason to repeat something is to get it right. One wants to master something, and the best way to do it is by repetition. Mistakes, things you did in the past that you now regret, can be corrected. It's possible to cross out one word and replace it with another. No two words are exactly alike. Two, it was only when he was older that he discovered where he had gone wrong. You can hide behind your arrogance until night turns into day and the coyotes come out like howling women, like women in labor crying in the dark. Sixty years went by and he still didn't get the picture. Empathy is no less a drug than cynicism, but I can't find my pen. Three, there's pleasure in repetition doing something you've already done. It's possible that eventually you'll get tired of repeating yourself ad infinitum and attempt something new. It's pleasurable to eat the same thing for breakfast every day. Rituals are soothing. One repeats oneself in an attempt to understand what one has done. You don't want to make the same mistakes over again. It's comforting to do the same thing every day. There's something to be said for the familiarity of being with one person for a long time. Repeating something is a way of learning about it, learning your lines. You can't step into the same river twice. Four, the shadow of a tree falls over a stream six feet wide and one foot deep. I put the ashes of my cat in a jar on the mantelpiece. Hierarchy is a form of conditioning that leads to discipleship and absence of dignity. It would seem that what you do to earn a living had some connection with who you are. My opinion must count for something, even if my hunger can't be satisfied. Five, the reason to repeat something is to master it. Now it is part of you, part of your being. This is what I know. The things I've repeated are what I know. Let me say it again. The things I've repeated over and over again are what I know, the mistakes, the correction. The more times I repeat something, the more chance I'll get it right. Six, he repeated what he said in case the people in the back couldn't hear. He had a feeling that he might live longer than anyone expected and that the things he had done when he was younger would fade in comparison. He drew a line between the past and the present and everyone he knew disappeared beneath the waves and when the boat reached the harbor he never looked back. There's a line between past and present when everything fades from view. Seven. There's something to be said for analyzing everything you've ever done in an attempt to learn about who you are. Take every moment and subdivide it into many moments. Sometimes a moment can last a long time. You can learn a lot by simply observing yourself from a distance, hearing your voice echoing from behind the door as if a stranger was speaking. Remember the time you rolled down the hill in Ann Arbor, Michigan? It's pointless to pretend it didn't happen, even if no one's listening. Another wrong number. I'll call you back later tonight. Eight. It's boring to repeat the same thing every day. I'm sorry if I told you this story before. Tell me if I'm repeating myself. I stared into her eyes, but she didn't recognize me. No matter what I said, she couldn't understand. It was as if I was speaking in a language no one understood but me. The sun, Heraclitus says, is new every day, but I don't believe it. Nine. This poem goes on forever. <laughs> the rays of the setting sun illuminate the undersurface of the cloud shell. The haze of the prairie fire reddens the low-lying sun. The neon color of the northern lights are the result of radiation given off by, in the very high atmosphere by molecules that are energized by particles from the sun. A water spout is a tornado that forms over water, silhouettes of clouds against the darkening sky.